Welcome back to Epic E-Bikes. We're back at the hill. You can see it straight up there behind me. Today we've got two bikes. The original M600 with 120 newton meters of torque and 500 watt. And this is another M600, but we've just replaced the motor with the brand new M560, which is also 500 watt, but 130 newton meters. So we thought we'd bring them back up to the hill today, put them to the test, and let's see how much better the blue bike performs with the extra 10 newton meters from the brand new M560. Okay, here I go. I'm ready now on the Frey M600. Standard setup with 500 watt and 120 newton meters. Ready to do my first run. One, two, three, go. Here we are, standard M600, up the hill. Let's go in three, two, one. So now we've completed our runs on the M600 and we've got some good times that we'll talk about at the end. We're going to do a quick comparison between the M600 and the M560 motor. So visually they're very similar as you can see in this image here. The main difference is that the new M560 has some lighter weight materials in the frame, I believe magnesium, which is lowering it to 3.3 kilos rather than 3.9 for the M600. They've also tweaked the power, so we've got an extra 10 newton meters of torque in the M560, 130 newton meters versus 120 in the M600. One last added detail is that the M560s come with a steel gear for increased durability with that extra torque, while the M600s most of the time are coming with a nylon gear, which is basically there for noise reduction. Some M600s do come with the steel gear, but the majority have that nylon gear and the one in our bike today has the nylon gear. So now what we're going to do is do a noise comparison. So first we'll show you the M600 and we'll show you what that sounds like here. <laughs> Now we're going to show you the M560 and what that sounds like with the steel gear. And now we'll do a comparison switching between the M600 and the M560. Okay. 
So at full power, there is a noticeable difference between the noise of the two motors. Obviously with the least, less power you put into the motor, the quieter it is for both of them. So that steel gear, while noisier, does offer increased durability, which is a compromise that I'm happy to make for that extra hill climbing power. And we'll go up the hill, get our times, and then discuss the results. This is the first run on the Bafang M560. Three, two, one, go. Okay, here we go, Frey M600 with the new M560 motor installed, ready to do my run up the hill. Three, two, one, go. here we are we've done our runs for the day on both the standard m600 and the bafang m560 and i can tell you that the m560 is definitely a good improvement on the m600 after these runs as you'll see later with the results we got good times on both bikes but a noticeable improvement with the extra power of the m560 so what did you think john look i do like the m560 it's got 130 newton meters versus 120 with the standard m600 so you definitely notice that extra 10 newton meters and particularly going up this hill it's definitely easier on the heart and easier on the legs so i thoroughly enjoyed it the difference the other difference you might notice or pick up in the video is the sound the m600 is quieter with the nylon gears but with the extra 10 newton meters they've added steel gears in the m560 uh, and so it's a little bit more whiny but that doesn't worry me because I know it's going to be more uh, durable in the long term. So, Alrighty. how were the times? <laughs> so, for the times, the standard M600, John got 105.74 as his best time. I got 105.18, quite close today. And definitely an improvement over past times on the M600. If you've seen our older M600 video, we had a very low spec bike that we took up the hill with a fairly limited range on the rear cassette so i think this better quality components has allowed us to get a better time up the hill today in this m600 motor then if we look at the m560 the latest performance bafang motor you can see we smashed that time and i got one minute 0.42 john got one minute 02.88 so a significant improvement up the hill and if you look at the times compared with all the other bikes we've taken up the hill in the past you'll see that puts the m560 right up the top behind only the other more powerful 1500 watt Bafang motors that we've taken up the hill. So there we go, there's another day at the hill. I hope you enjoy the results. Remember to like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks.